Jackie Smith and Leanne. I'm bending down because if I stand up, I'm kind of like cut off. So I'm going to be singing y'all's song. It's called Six Hours on the Cross. And it's just talking about Jesus, how he hung there and died for us for six hours. And who knows how many hours before then that he got beaten battered and all that horrible things that they did to him. And also, I'm going to be, after I'm singing the song, I'm going to be posting Dylan's preaching. It's, and he's preaching about don't have the woe is me attitude. And it's so true. You know, a lot of people, we probably all have done it. Woe is me. You know, oh man, I'm going through this trial. Oh man, I'm doing this. Oh man, I'm doing that. You know, so sad for me. But you know, Jesus, he literally hung there and died for us, carried the weight of our sins. And did he say, woe is me? No. And, you know, if he can do that for us, surely to goodness, we can praise him and serve him without having the woe is me attitude. So I really hope y'all enjoy this song and this preaching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and press that notification bell so you know every single time that I post a new video. And I hope y'all enjoy this. My Savior was praying. You know, after he said that, I went back there and I opened the Bible up. 
That's just how the Lord, I mean, that's how He works. Amen. Psalm 120. Amen. Psalm 120, verse 5, the first part of that. Woe is me. Yeah. Yeah. Psalm 120, verse 5. Amen. I open that, those three words. Woe is me. I mean, you can be seated because I'm going to get to that in just a minute. But woe is me. That's a spirit that's going on through the churches in the days now. Woe is me. People feeling pity for themselves. People feeling sorry for themselves. Amen. Saying, woe is me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That was even myself. Come on, before church, I was, I was thinking, well, I'll just I'll let Nathan preach tonight. I'll, I'll sit back and listen to him. I've been I've been giving it out, so I'll just I'll feed off what he's got from the Lord tonight. Mm -hmm. And you know, the Lord struck me with that, saying, Woe is me. Amen. Amen. Come on, the devil fight me, amen. Last night and the whole night through, I thought, well, well, my arm hurt me all night. The dog woke me up this morning, kept barking, kept barking. Don't know what in the world it was barking at. Didn't get much sleep. I'm tired tonight. I'll just sit back. Amen. But the Lord said, woe is me. Thank Don't you. have the woe is me attitude. Thank Amen. God. Jesus. Amen. I guarantee you was tired. Amen. After being beat. Amen. After all the blood loss that he suffered. Yes. Amen. No doubt the flesh. Amen. Was weak. Amen. But going up the cross. Amen. Carrying the cross. Amen. He carried it all the way. Amen. He didn't stop. Amen. When he could have called the angels. Amen. To come down and save him. Amen. He still had us on his mind. Amen. He didn't have a woe is me kind of attitude. Amen. He could have stopped it all right there. Amen. He could have forsaken us all right there. Amen. He didn't have to do it. Amen. But he did. Amen. He didn't have to carry the cross. Amen. But he did. Amen. You have to take the stripes for our healing. Amen. But he did. Amen. He didn't have to do it. Amen. But he did. Amen. He didn't have to do it. But he did. Amen. When I begin to think about Jesus, Amen. Brother Marvin sang that song. Amen. And Elias, tell me what kind of man Jesus is. Amen. But if people were to ask you, Amen, what kind of man Jesus is, Amen, what words would come to your mind? Amen. There ain't no big enough word, Amen, found in the dictionary. Amen. That I could ever begin to just begin, Amen, to explain, Amen, what Jesus says to me. Amen. But I don't want to have a woe is me kind of attitude. Amen. When I'm asked about Jesus, Amen, I don't want to say, Amen, well, Amen, He works sometimes. Amen. He moves sometimes for us. Amen. He don't exactly move. Amen. When we want Him to. Amen. But I want to have a spirit about me. Amen. That says, Oh yes, let me tell you about Jesus. Oh yes, He's wonderful. Oh yes, He's mighty. Oh yes, He never changes. Oh yes. Thank God He's never He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh yes, He's my very best friend. Oh yes, He's the best that I've ever found. Oh yes, He's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Amen. 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 Flesh gets weak. Amen. We want to. We want to say, "Woe is me!" From time to time. Right. Amen. We go through battles and hardships of the enemy. We want to say, "Well, woe is me." Well, the devil's fought me today. I might as well just sit back. Come on, Amen. Brother. People Amen. come to church Amen. and they say, "Well, I'm not going to give it my all because the enemy's right out the door waiting." Right. Help him, yeah. Lord. If I do that, if I go pray for that sister, well, I know I know the devil's out, out the door. They put the whooping on me. Come on, brother. Yeah. Bless him, Lord. Hey, man, well, bless your heart. <laughs> hey, man, I don't want to have a woe is me attitude. No, no sir. No, sir. Hey, man. Woe is me. Yeah. Hey, man, we go back to verse 1 in Psalm 120 there. Amen. Why am I not going to have, amen, a woe is me attitude, amen, because I can go back to verse 1. Amen. The words of David here, amen. In my distress, uh -huh. I cried unto the Lord, and He heard me. Uh -huh. Amen. We want to have a woe is me attitude, amen, when the Lord don't come by the first time that we ask. Amen. We want it like a microwave dinner, amen. We want to stick it in there. Amen. Put it on two minutes. Amen. It'd be done. Amen. Just that quick. 
Amen. We want to pray it. Amen. And oftentimes, amen, we get too carried away and we want it done. Amen. Before we even yeah. speak the words. Yeah, that's right. Amen. We get a woe is me attitude about us. Amen. When the Lord don't move yeah. the way that we want Him to. Amen. Amen. But yeah. there's times we got to be like Daniel. Yeah. Amen. amen. We don't think. If we don't think, amen, that the Lord is hearing us, even though He does, amen, we still need to keep on praying. Amen. We don't need to say, well, woe is me, I'm going to sit back. Woe is me, I'm not going to pray tonight. Woe is me, I'm not going to pray like I used to. Woe is me, I'm just not going to get deep in the Word today because the Lord don't hear me anyway. Amen. That's the spirit and the attitude, amen, that's going around. Amen. Well, well, I'm, I'm weak. I had the COVID last month and, and my body's weak. I'm just not going to do for the Lord like I used to. Right. Amen. But I don't want anything. Amen. I don't want no excuse. Amen. To say woe is me about anything. Come on, amen. A little bit of hardship in the body that we're going to go yeah. through. Amen. Well, let me just tell you. Amen. Yeah, while we're still God. in the yeah. flesh. On, amen. Brother. We're still going to go through pain. Yeah. Amen. We're still going to have pain in this old body. Amen. We're still going to have hardships in life. Amen. Until we lay this flesh down. Amen. We're not going to have rest. Amen. The Bible talks about the place. Amen. It says, if you have entered into my rest. Amen. My rest. Yeah. Amen. So we're not going to see rest. Amen. Until we're entered into His kingdom. Right. Amen. Entered into Amen. His rest. Right. Amen. Deliver my soul, Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Amen. A deceitful tongue. Lying lips and a deceitful tongue. Well, I ain't going to give it all tonight because this brother talked about me. Come on, brother. This brother said this. This sister, she talked bad about me. She lied on me over here. She did this and that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Woe is me. I'll just sit back because this, this sister, she don't like me. Come on, brother. Amen. Again, I say, well, bless your heart. Right. Yeah. Amen. Because in life, amen, until we make it, yeah. amen, we're going to be talked about. Yeah. Amen. amen. You're going to face yeah. hurt. Amen. People are going to let that tongue flap. Amen. They're going to say things about you. Yeah. Amen. It's not going to be true. They're going to say things about you. Amen. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But I don't want a woe is me no. attitude about it. Amen. 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 Psalm 121 and verse 1. Uh -huh. I will lift my eyes unto the hills yeah. from whence cometh my help. Wow. My help coming from the Lord, Amen. which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Amen. Will not slumber. Amen. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Amen. Amen. We get a woe is me attitude about us. Spiritually want to slumber a little bit. Spiritually want to just kick back and sleep. Yeah. Well, if I don't do anything, if I if I sit on a pew, the enemy won't bother me so bad. Mm -hmm. right. If I sit on a pew, I won't have to go through hardships. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Amen. But I don't want that. What was me attitude? Amen. To where I fall asleep and slumber. Amen. Right. Amen. But even when we do it spiritually, amen, or physically, yeah. he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. So what's that mean? When we're physically sleeping, he's got our back. Amen. Against the enemy. Amen. Thank the Lord. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Amen. He shall preserve thy soul. Amen. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, and even forevermore. Yes. Amen. So I got a, I got a God 
that will keep me day and night. Amen. Whether I'm sleeping, whether I'm praying, whether I'm praising Him, yeah. whatever I'm doing, whether I'm working, yeah. i got a God that will keep me. Amen. And I don't have to have a woe is me attitude and feel sorry for myself. Because no. I can praise Him day in and day out for what Amen. He is. Absolutely. Yes. Psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's too much now that people get to woe is me about them. Right. Yeah. And coming to church becomes more of a chore than it is a joy. Amen, brother. Well, I didn't sleep good last night. I'll just stay at home. Yeah. Well, I'm not caught up on work. I'll just I'll work overtime through service on Wednesday night. I'll just I'll work through the end. Right. Make up for it later. Right. And then it becomes a chore. Yeah. Yeah. A dread. Yeah. Oh, is it, it's church time already? Shoe goodness. Yeah. Six o'clock already. Time to leave. Uh, I don't know. I I'm yeah. awful, I'm awful tired. Yeah. Oh, hey, man, I, I ain't just preaching to you. I'm talking about myself, too. Hey, man, six o'clock come by, and I thought, man, this day has flew by. Yeah. Oh, come on, that's, right. flesh, that's it's, right. flesh speaking. That's speaking the yeah. truth. Yeah. Hey, man, what, it's church time. Come on now. I'm, 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 I'm pretty tired tonight. It'd be easy just to stay at home, catch up on some sleep. Right. Yeah. Hey, man, you get a woe is me attitude about you. It's yeah. true. Come on. Begin to feel sorry for yourself. Begin to feel sorry for your fleshly self. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And before you know it, you won't be coming to church at all. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly right. Before you know it, it'll be easier the next time to make an excuse yep. not to come. Right. Feel sorry for yourself. Well, I got a headache tonight. On Wednesday night. Sunday comes around. It's time to come to church. Well, my big toe hurts. Can't go. Can't go today. Yeah, can't do that. Woe is me. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. The enemy will give you a woe is me attitude every service yeah, to true. keep you at the house. Try it. Amen. Psalm eighteen. It's just how the Lord wants me to go. Bless the Lord. Amen. This. Scripture here. Yes, sir. If you just really dig into the words, I mean, a lot of times people will read the Bible and they just don't comprehend. They just read through it real fast. They don't comprehend. Actually, don't take the time to study it out. Don't take the time to actually listen through the Spirit and what God is saying. I mean, but to keep this. Scripture here will keep us from getting a woe is me spirit. If we begin to place it into our lives, not just read it as something that David was saying, but actually place it in our hearts. Right. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. I don't have to have a woe is me spirit because the Lord is my strength. Amen. Amen. My body gets weak. He's my strength. Amen. Why? Because the Spirit, amen, needs to have a greater desire and a greater hunger than what the flesh is telling you to do. When the flesh tells you to sit back, amen, that's when you need to be built up in spirit to overcome, amen, the enemy and overcome flesh. But He is our strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Yeah. My God and again, my strength in whom I will trust. I found him to be my rock yeah. Amen. and my fortress Amen. and my deliverer. My God, my strength. Yes. Amen. I know. I know. That's not our words, 
Amen. But when we put it into our perspective, well, yeah, He is that. Yes, He is my rock. Yes, He is my fortress. Yes, He is my deliverer. I don't have to have a woe is me attitude. Amen. Amen. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Amen. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Amen. 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 Christians get that woe is me attitude. Yes, sir. And they don't want to praise you. Well, when I think about that, it truly breaks my heart. Because I've been there. Bless the Lord. That truly that just breaks my heart when I begin to think about it. God, have your way, Holy Ghost. That we want to come to church, yeah. say, woe is me. My body's hurting tonight, so I'm not going to give Him praise. Come on, brother. How sad. Yeah. When Jesus paid it all. Amen. When He is... Worthy to be praised. Amen, brother. Amen. I don't want to have a woe is me attitude when I come to the house of God. Why? Because I want to lift up the holy hands to one that is worthy. I want to give everything that I have to one that is worthy. Amen. Too often we give too much time to the enemy. We give too much time to the enemy. Well, I'm not living in sin. I'm not talking about sinning. Amen. But we let the enemy use carnal things to keep our mind off God. Amen. Social media, yeah. cell phones, TV, yeah. deer hunting, fishing. Yes. Amen. I know. I know. I know. We can pray or whatever when we're doing things throughout our day. But you know, if we're cleaning. We can pray if we're. Fishing, we can pray and we can meditate on the Lord. Yeah. Amen. But we have to give God His time. Amen. Secret place. Yes. Somebody come in saying that here lately through the past few services. Well, we have to give God His time. Amen. Amen. The Lord just keeps bringing it back for whatever reason. We have to give Him His time. Amen. If we don't give Him His time. <laughs> We'll end up with just that, a woe is me attitude. Amen. Because the enemy, we don't give God his time and meditate on him. And the enemy will use that time yeah. for us to think about all the bad that's happened. Yeah. Think about all the bodily pain. Yeah. Think about everything that's been said about us. Be Before we know it, again, like I said, we won't be coming to church. Amen. Strengthen the sorrows of death can pass me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. Mm -hmm. The sorrows of hell can pass me about. The woe is me's can pass us about. Yeah, Amen. We go around, we think about all the things of the world, everything, all the sin and ungodliness going on around us. Think about all the sickness going around us, the pestilence around us. Right. Amen. The woe is me's. Verse 6, though. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken. Because he was wrong. Yeah. You mean I like that verse, verse 6. I'm going to read it again. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. When he wants to put a woe is me attitude upon me, I can call on the Lord. Amen. Cry out to him with everything that I have. Amen. And he will hear our voices out of his temple. And our cries will come before him even to his ears. Amen. Verse 
Verse 16. He sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. We can't do it on our own. No. They, pre they prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. Verse 19, He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because He delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. We get a woe is me attitude about us. And we sit back. Though it may not seem, not saying that we're, we backslide, yeah. amen, but a part of us departs from it. Have your way, Lord. When we don't, what are you talking about? Well, when we don't allow Him to use us up to our potential that He has for us, yeah. a part of us is departing from Him. Right. Again, not saying that we're backslide or nothing like that. For all His judgments were before me. And I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands and his eyesight. With the merciful, thou wilt show thyself merciful. Thank you. With an upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. Yeah. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the forward, thou wilt show thyself forward. Amen. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, yeah. but wilt bring down high looks. Uh -huh. For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. Yes. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock? Save our God. It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. Verse 33. He maketh my feet like Hines' feet and setteth me upon my high places. And then through climbing the toughest of mountains, Amen. The enemy wants us to get a woe with me attitude and say that we're tired. Yeah. Amen. Spiritually, he wants to say, Well, you, you fought so hard. You fought for so long. Why don't you just sit down and take it easy? Why don't you just do as Elijah did? Run away from the enemy. Right. Go and lay down under a juniper tree. Yeah. Go to sleep. Yeah. Amen. But he's making my feet like Hans's feet. Talk about this a little while back. <coughs> but a deer, when it runs, its back feet can land exactly where its front feet were. So it has, and I said this before, but I feel to say it again tonight. So 
So therefore, one feet or one set of feet is God in the way, and the other set of feet is following in the footsteps of the other set of feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we got God. We need to follow in His footsteps. Right. Not try to lead God the way that we want things to be. Right. Not try to lead Him to benefit from it. Right. Not try to lead Him to not give him an ultimatum and say, well, Lord, if you don't do this, then I'm not going to do that. If you don't move right now, then I'm not going to praise you. If you don't move right now, then I'm going to slack back on singing. If you don't move right now, I'm going to slack back on this or that. Amen. Well, let's not get a what was me attitude Amen. and serve the Lord with everything we have. Amen. Don't allow, allow the enemy to make us step back now. Because we've come too far to turn back. We've come too far to, Amen. to, to put the brakes on now. We've come Amen. too far to, to slow up now. But now is the time that we, we ought to be giving God everything we got. Amen. We ought to be in prayer often. We ought to be pushing meals back as we can. I know some of us, you know, some of us aren't able. And then when it comes to fasting, yeah. there's more than just food right. that you can give up for the Lord. Amen. If you got a problem with your cell phone, turn your cell phone off for a while. Yep. Turn your cell phone off for a few days. Yep. Right. Tell people if they need to get a hold of you to call somebody else, or if you got a house phone, tell them to call the house phone. Right. It's that simple. Amen. If you can't do it without pop, Set you a couple pops to the side Amen. throughout the week. It don't take much, Amen, for flesh to feel the effects of it. Right. Amen. I know I'm, I'm I'm bad about drinking pop. I can drink about six or ten a day if I wanted to. If I'm not careful, but I begin to feel not having the caffeine. Right. I begin to feel it when I sit down, eat my popcorn at night. Want to. Drink me a good cold Pepsi or something. I feel it. Yeah. Like I said, it don't take much to get the flesh's attention. Don't take much to get the flesh out of the way. But as long as we're doing it for the right reasons, yeah. Amen. as long as we're doing it to get that woe is me attitude out of there, Amen. not allow the enemy to bring it on us. Because like I said, it's so simple. That's being flesh. I'm getting out of the way. I'm, I'm hushing. Doing good. But it's so easy being flesh right, to say woe is me. Yeah. Yeah. Not not saying the very words, not saying woe is me, but I'm tired tonight. Yeah. I just won't go. Yeah. I'm tired tonight. I'll let Brother Nathan do the preaching. I'll let somebody else. Brother Marvin, your hands are tired tonight. Let somebody else play the guitar. Yeah. It's so easy to do. But I don't want to have a woe is me attitude. Especially now. Especially when the end is soon coming. Amen. It's no time to sit back. So I really hope that preaching and singing just helps someone. Remember, don't have the woe is me attitude. And whenever you feel that coming on you, remember how Jesus did for us. He died on the cross for us. He suffered so much for us. And so with that being said, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And remember that I love you. So does Jesus. Bye. Oh. Uh -huh.